Genel. Yo, what's up everyone? How's it going? Welcome back to the vlog. Took, took a couple days off there to sleep uh, after TwitchCon. That's basically all I did. Uh, my whole life was just... Uh, just right. Good night. No, but seriously, much needed to rest you guys. I'm excited to be back on the grind though. Put in a stream this morning. Good stream. We had a final table. We had a ninth place. We had a bunch of deep runs and stuff, but uh, nothing too crazy. We also did commentary on the Global Volker League Heads Up match, which was really, really fun. I enjoyed that. Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad was playing, so that was a lot of fun. Um, stream crashed a lot, so I'm going to do my best to figure that thing out this afternoon. I had to send a bunch of emails to PokerStars as well as... I still haven't gone through my emails. Like I, I'm like a week and a half behind, which is really bad. Still doing laundry. So I got TwitchCon stuff all over the place, and uh, I'm gonna wash my sheets and stuff. And I'm also not feeling too good. I'm not. I'm not feeling 100. That's for sure. So uh, I'm gonna try and get some sleep in there. But yeah, good, productive, like six, six and a half hour stream. Host of my boy Summit, uh, who I host poker streamers 99% of the time. Um, but there was no one on from the house, and like the the next biggest stream had 100 or so. Not that I don't want to help with those people, but it seemed like a good opportunity to uh, throw some love at some one G who's like my home base when it comes to Twitch. So I don't know. Hopefully let's have a productive day, you guys. Let's crush it. Hopefully you're having a great one. I'm gonna get on the life grind. Let's do it. Good morning. It's kind of the next day. Vlogs are in a weird spot right now. Life is in a weird spot. But uh, hey, I'm gonna finish this off this morning. Because I know there's only one clip yesterday. So as you guys know, Jeff Gross is in the house. He doesn't have a shirt on right now, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do the justice to YouTube. Um, but yeah, I'm vlogging, man. Just, just audio wise. What's going on? Are, are you digging the, digging the house so far? I'm ready to get after it. We're gonna, uh, we got something cool coming up next week. Can't wait to uh, share and get the final details out. I'll just put a shirt on for you. Just to oh my God, the shirt's going on. One sec, one sec. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Dude. Welcome, welcome to the stream house. Uh, I'm digging. I want to. This vlog thing's awesome. I got to start it. So uh, happy to be on. And uh, man, I, your vlogs would kill mine. I, I love watching your vlogs. I got. <laughs> you got to do it. You got to help me out, man. I'm, uh, I'm new <laughs> to this stuff. So uh, what's up? Good morning, and uh, we'll see you a lot. I guess in the next uh, six weeks. Awesome, man. Cheers. Um. Yeah. There it is. There's the man himself. So. Uh, I have to move my car now because I can't park on that side of the street. I'm just assuming that there's not going to be parking, so I figured why not take the camera, talk about some stuff, and I can go get breakfast on the other side of the river, which I did last time. Beautiful view. Usually a decent amount of traffic, so it takes about an hour. Why not? Good start to the day. What's up, everyone? It's uh, I'm in a McDonald's parking lot, and a sausage breakfast sandwich is pretty good. I don't know. This is this is over the bridge. You guys probably saw some of it. It's a very nondescript, feels like home parking lot. You know, it actually has a drive-through. There's enough space for a drive-through out here. It's pretty pretty legit. Um, thinking about two things on this trip. One of them is about streaming. One of them is not about streaming. So I'll start with the non-streaming one, because uh, <laughs> I'm really passionate about this idea. I don't know why. I don't know why I am, but I just am. It's like, I've never been so excited about a technology before in, in my life. Like the internet obviously started when I was alive. So I remember life a little bit before the internet. Like I remember in grade school, where your teachers would write out the long address, you go HTTP, colon slash slash www slash enter slash, you know like just these super super long and some kid would get it wrong and it was just a disaster you know there was like search engines were not a thing or like navigating through sites like teachers didn't know how to do that so they'd give you the whole address right so I, I recognize like how how much the internet has changed the world maybe not as much as some of the 80s people um, you know the people born in the 80s but you know I'm born in 91 I do recognize that change in technology, but just driving over here, I realize like how archaic this is going to be in a couple of years, man. Like driving your own car 
is going to cease to exist in the next 10 years. Self-driving cars are on the way. They're, I mean, they already exist. Like the regulatory bodies aren't aren't ready to to license them yet, and they don't deal with bad weather yet and stuff like that. But you know, there's fully driving cars that are already safer than human beings, and that's insane. That's crazy, man. Like uh, the ability to set course to I don't know a, a random city around here. So I'm in Montreal right now. The ability to set course to New York which is eight hours away, right? And and sit in this car, which would be redesigned because there's no need for this in the future. There's no need for a steering wheel or shifts or, or any of these controls. Like, the car will do it itself. So the ability to hop in and basically have, like, your own personal pod here, uh, you know, like a bed or, or whatever, and then go to sleep and wake up in New York City is going to... Ch I just think it's going to change the world. I, don't, I, I love thinking about it, man. I think it's going to change everything that we do in society. I don't think we're going to own cars. Like, why would you own a car if you can call one on your phone and it'll show up at your front door? You know, I think companies are going to own cars. But it's like, you're going to be able to get anywhere within, a, like, a one-day drive overnight by yourself and for probably cheaper than a plane ride. I mean, that's, I love thinking about that. I'm such a nerd when it comes to that stuff. Like how that's gonna change society. Like every small town that builds itself around like hotels and convenience stores and stuff like that are really gonna struggle. Car manufacturers are gonna struggle if they can't keep up, you know? I mean, uh, we see BMW and, and Tesla and Google you know, producing self-driving. I think Mercedes has a bunch of stuff like that as well. But, I mean, cars that haven't, car manufacturers that haven't really got into it, I mean, they're really going to have a tough time, dude. They're going to have a tough time. Can I just hold this here? Is that, that kosher? I don't know. It's a ways away there. So, um, I don't know. I love thinking about that stuff. <laughs> I, I, I just think that, I think that we're going to go through such a huge fundamental shift in the ability to to see the world and go places um, and the idea of driving yourself is going to cease to exist in my lifetime like relatively soon in my adult lifetime I, d I, I really don't think I'll ever drive a car again when I'm 50 years old I'm 25 right now so, I don't know. Anyways, that was, uh, <laughs> spun something I was thinking about. Uh, quick update about the day. So yesterday I slept four hours after I streamed, when I did that intro for you guys. Uh, and then I did some sort of passive work in the evening, and then I, I slept overnight about another four hours. Um... So, I mean, that's not great. I'm on the split shift, but I did fade getting sick on this trip. A lot of you guys that have followed me for a long time know that I typically get sick every time I go on a trip. I did not this time, which is really, really great. So, I don't feel too bad about myself. But, you know, I'm just thinking over, like, the last couple weeks of, of what I've been doing. Maybe the last month or so here in Montreal. And, uh, you know, I haven't quite hit a rhythm yet that I was in in Calgary, or as in in Lethbridge, in my hometown, where I feel like I'm really, really productive and pumping out the the type of content and the amount of content that I want to do. One of, the, one of the nicest things that has ever been said to me, and something that, that I really value uh, about myself, is, you know, Doug Polk has said uh, to me, and, and on a stream a few times, that, um, you know, Jamie is like the hardest working person I've found in, in poker. You know, and that's just like that's an amazing thing to hear, man. You know, because it uh, my my thoughts on like skill or or natural talent or or stuff like that is like that's that's stuff you're born with, uh, and you can't really change that. You know, my my father always taught me like what I lack in those areas, you can make up for in hard work, and I felt as if I I I would really was as hard working as I possibly could be for the first year or so of streaming and creating content. Uh, I, I, I felt like I, I did as much as I possibly could and I was really proud of that. And, and the point of the story is that I don't feel as if that's been true over the last month. I don't feel like I've been as, uh, you know, I, I, I don't feel when Doug says that, which again is like really, really an amazing thing to hear, you know, because I look up to him a lot. He's done a lot in the game, so for him to say that and respect me on that level, you know, just being an average 
poker pro trying to get better is is like very flattering but I don't feel as if I I deserve that right now um, so I'm trying to figure out like how how exactly I can get back to where I was and it, it does seem simple on the outside it's just like well you just got to do this and this and this and this and that's it uh, but a lot of it is just like mental like how do I how do I reset my brain to that mode that I was in for a long time um, so I'm trying to trying to hack my brain and figure out how exactly to go about doing that. I mean, we haven't vlogged. This is the first vlog in three days. Uh, we streamed about six hours yesterday. The Poker YouTube channel will start getting highlights and stuff now, but you know, it, it's just not where it was. So uh, I don't know. I'm figuring that out. I'm thinking about it on the car ride and listening to a little Kevin Smith um, podcast, which is. Uh, one of one of my heroes, one of the people I look up to most in the world, is Kevin Smith, and and seeing if some of his stories can inspire me to get back there. Um, Kevin Smith's main philosophy is is kind of like a why not. Um, you can find some of his stuff on YouTube, and and it really. It changed my life and the way I think about life. I used to listen to his podcast all the time playing poker before I created any content. Um, you know, I would listen to his podcast for a couple hours a day. And, uh, you know, his philosophy is kind of like surround yourself with why not people. And that you can always find people that say, why would you create that? Why would you do that? And and find reasons to not do things, not create. And, um, you know, his thoughts are just like, like, why not? <laughs> Go for it, right? Try it. Kind of live your dreams. That, that naivete. Um, that I get accused of so much, right, of, of not understanding or not, you know, being silly or being caught up in in uh, what I'm doing and, and sort of not being realistic about things. I, I really very much learned that from him. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess that turned into three things, but uh, I really admire Kevin Smith. Doug Polk's very kind. Um, but I need I need to figure out how to work a little bit harder. And uh, cars are going to drive themselves, and that's crazy shit. There's no, uh, there's no parking on our street, so... <laughs> Another failed trip uh, for breakfast. I was seven minutes too late. The street is completely full again, so not exactly sure what I'm gonna do right now. Waiting seems like the play. I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. <sighs> Waiting might be a punt. Like, what happens if no one leaves for 45 minutes, or if someone snags the thing before I get it? Like, out of could always do like social media. I can always hit the Facebook replies when I'm waiting like this to be continued. All right, it is uh, 11.50. Got through all of my Facebook, Instagram, Facebook page messages, and there's a spot open. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it right now. Oh my God, I snagged that. I literally sat out here for like an hour and 30 minutes. Was not looking for spots. Was just like face buried in the phone, you know? Was not looking, boom. Fire up the camera, someone leaves. We did it! We nailed it, man! We're done, the ride's over. We are parked for another day, and we're actually good, because today's Friday, so we're good till, uh, till Tuesday. Whew! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna end this vlog, I'm gonna upload it, and then uh, we'll start uh, the day tomorrow's vlog, you know, you feel me? But uh, massive amount of support in the comments, you guys, on, on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, I hadn't had an opportunity to read it since I went through, you know, a, a rough couple vlogs and people were just generally so supportive. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, it really does mean a lot. And uh, let's have a great day, okay? So thanks so much for checking out the vlog. Until tomorrow, today, see you later.